<laughs> he like lo like from this angle, he actually looks like AC. Except AC always wears like, this jacket. Mhm. Mm and he's a little hairier. Yeah, he's a little. Yeah, his like his hair is much more curlier. Mhm. Mm I don't give AC his credit. It's got, it's got a nice little fro. So we on. got Aloha versus Paladin. Uh, Aloha, kind of a legend in the USC area for sure. People talked about how like early Smash Four is definitely one of those players making waves, and then eventually, so it's, it will happen. People will definitely catch up, learn, learn character, learn their character, right, and things like that. So Aloha's though still a force to be reckoned with, nonetheless, and Vladin also a force to be reckoned with. He was kind of a legend in Smash Four as well. Oh, Vladin was like that that ghost of SoCal. Like yeah. people never really knew about him. And then he shows up, and they're like, "Oh, damn." <laughs> Then he just starts delivering hands. Oh, <laughs> uh, but now it's still going. Oh, he woke up, people. <laughs> I, I've seen him before. I forgot his tag. Ooh, oh, what great forward smash. smash coming in from Aladdin. Oh, there's the up air. Just I standing. mean, speaking of waking up, people, man, Shane last night at MSM kind of made a PR check. He's like, hold on, let me check this PR real quick. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me see where I actually fall into this PR. Because he did pretty, uh, pretty good stuff at MSM, but enough about that one. Vladin doing a pretty good job of, like, mm -hmm. honestly, spacing. Mm -hmm. And he's actually able to hit Peach here because the, one of the hardest things to make the Peachy match pretty difficult is the fact that he has such a low profile. Mm -hmm. But, like, that's another issue, that Peach's hitboxes aren't as big as Lucina's. Yeah. And, like, Lucina's fair kind of, like, will nullify a lot of Peachy stuff unless Peachy kind of, like, inches in and then, like, gets that one conversion. That's that is scary. I hate that. I hate being in that situation that the, that Aloha was in. Oh no! Damn if you do, damn if you don't, right? Yeah. The one thing I don't see Aloha really go for a lot is the lightning loops. That's mm -hmm. usually how a lot of Pichu mains like to get their percentages here, especially especially with how down Aloha is. But Baladin is not falling into like getting hit by any of those. That's the one thing too. He's playing he's yeah. playing around uh, the up tilt. Yeah, like the, that's an issue. It's like he needs to get the up tilt. Yeah. But how is he going to get the up tilt against Lucina's sword? Oh, he's, he's not going to start though, but he actually drops it. Mm -hmm. I also, also feel that the fact that Valadin is very understanding. Like, hey, I don't want to get caught out of an out of from an up tilt or out of shield dodger from Pichu. Well, and it's good that he goes for double up tilt because if the usual Pichu option would be to go for back air oh, at man, that point. Dying in the stage, at one fifty to up throw. <laughs> That's privilege. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's top tier privilege. But like, if you would have gotten the up tilt and Peach's usual options to go for back out of shield, oh, you would have actually gotten this, a solid end here. And it, at worst, at worst, it would have gotten a bad trade. But the best clank, mm -hmm. and then force Aloha for another option. Yeah, and now Vladin's still keeping up this like pressure, not letting uh, Aloha get in all too much. And that, that's kind of like how you need to play this matchup, right? If you're the Lucina, you need to constantly win neutral. Yeah. Like, over and over and over again. Put him in the corner. Oh, oh I no like tech. it because he came back. He actually came back. He waited for the Thunder to get the invincibility on the getup. And then he knew Aloha was so low that there's only one way to come back is quick attack. And then he anticipated that. Mm -hmm. So, for Valadin to just understand Aloha's options at that point of the stage it really goes to show that he has a solid grasp of like how Pichu works. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but that also goes to the USC tournaments as well. Mm -hmm. So he has played against Aloha a few times. Yeah, yeah and he, he does put in a lot of work at USC, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, game two. For those of you guys wondering, also, uh, Vladin was also known for being a good Lucina main in Smash 4 as well. He was uh, on the HM for PR. Yeah, he was in he didn't mention for PR. He didn't go to enough tournaments, but in a, basically one of those players like yeah, I saw him in pools, man. Don't sleep. Never sleep on anybody, but never never sleep on uh, hidden boss for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's that. That's kind of what Aloha really needs to do is get that one that one grab and just deal as much percentage as possible. And Vladin's not really letting him do it all too much, but that I feel like. Kind of stalling him out with those thunder drills is the best way to start it off. Yeah. But now that Valadin's kind of catching up on it, he's like, oh, okay, I'm going to It's also the fact that, you. like, the Aloha keeps going for an out of... A go oh, great forward smash. And that's one of the curses of being a, the rodents is that your hitbox kind of gets extended when you do your recovery. Yeah, and you're also the second lightest character in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, you actually are the lightest character in the game. Mm -hmm. So you will die exceptionally early. For Aloha too, he also lost stock because Aladdin was really understanding that he was going to go for an, a Thunder Jolt from the ledge. Because that's usually what Peaches like to do, make your whole shield come back and then go for a possible shield grab or 
pretty much punish you for your out of shield option. And for Valana to just know he's going to go for an aerial, a, a pretty much a get up attack option, mm -hmm. he kind of covered that. So Aloha kind of showing a little bit of his cards too often. Uh, I'm going to miss input on the down smash for that one. Oh man, got the landing hitbox, but can't really punish it. Except with probably up B. Finally gets the backer. Here's his edge guard situation. I like the fact that he's going for the Thunder Jolt to possibly stop Valadin from. Yeah, and Valadin still just looking for an opportunity. Like, I. That's kind of like what Vladin's the best at doing, is like just doing that run up retreat fair. Yeah. It's like a fake pressure, right? Like, I, I would <coughs> call it like a fadeaway. Mm -hmm. Fadeaway fair. Alright. Tries to go for all the hits in the side be there, but uh, bear, none of them connecting, so that allowed Loha to go for a grab. And he pretty much understands, like, if you're going to go for side B, all the hits, and you don't hit your opponent, or you don't get a tech chase, you are committing to the end leg of that one. There's an empty hop. No grab here, but I do like the fact that even though he doesn't get any of those, Vladin actually has the shield pressure there. Mm -hmm. So that shield looking mighty small. Oh, and he's all, but he's at one, like 110 right now, so he's going to die to practically anything. He dies to be Dancing Blade. Yeah, the, the, the rich man's uh, cross lash at this point. Mm -hmm. That's what, I'm not going to lie, that's what Dancing Blade kind of feels like in this game. Especially at certain parts of the stage with the ledge and percents. Like, it actually feels like limit cross lash. I don't know. Some I feel like some people are more privileged than others in terms of a Dancing Blade. Because... I feel like true. Lucina's is a little inconsistent as compared to Roy's. Yeah. Because the sour spots oh. lead them into the sweet spots. Ooh. Aloha looking for a bit of a breather. A little too hot with that down air. Mm -hmm. And now this isn't looking really hot for Aloha No, Aloha he had it, but that down air going on, that situation where Valadin was going to go for the, the way he got him, you have to understand your options and your Oh, no DI. No DI, and it's going to be the confirm there from the Thunder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if he if he died the up throw, he would have lived. Like he he did the immediate down B. Oh, that's not what you wanted to do. And this that, that back air is gonna look very terrifying. Up B? No, he's gonna go for a grab. Actually, Valadin doesn't really go for up B as a neutral. I also feel that like he likes to stall his forward airs because one thing that I did see him. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he like all the shield. Mm -hmm. And he thought he would have gone. I feel like a little thought he would have gone the punish, but unfortunately he missed it by letting go of the shield. At that point, your best option is to roll away or just 